Greetings and welcome to Traveler's Rest. I'm Catherine of Sky and a huge thank you to the devs for giving me a key to play this game for you today. So this is a game, I would call it like a base building game. We are a tavern keeper and we are going to, uh, we're going to build a brewery and kind of expand the thing and also brew our own stuff. So there's a lot of crafting involved. I'm really excited to play this for you today because this is going to be really fun. So first of all, we get to choose our the look of our tavern keeper. I kind of like this guy. Let's let's change the um, let's see shirt, maybe different. Eh, I don't like him wearing shorts. That's for sure. Oh, a belt with stuff hanging off. That's cool. Uh, do we like this shirt? Oh, that's very peasant. -y. Oh, I like this better. Okay, I think I like the long shirt. That's cool. I like this. The, he looks great. Okay, so we are going to... Wait, we can have female tavern keepers as well? Oh. I like her. She has red hair. I like red hair. Okay, we're picking her. Never mind. I thought we could only have a, uh... <clears throat> Uh, a thing. Okay, activate the tutorial. I think yes, we will because we might miss some stuff later on. Um, okay, so we are moving with with and then B to go into decoration mode, and then we're gonna pick up some stuff and move it around, and then we're gonna change where we wanna. I wanna put this a little bit more min maxi here uh, and get these uh, things where they're supposed to be. Rotate with R. There are some very strange key key bindings here. But overall, it's okay-ish. Uh, so now we need to get candles. Okay, so let's go here and... Oh, sorry. Whoops. Okay, grab the candle, put it on the table. There we go. Okay, press B and then E to look at our... Get closer to the E. Okay, we need to go to the book on the bar. Okay, there we are. <clears throat> Storing food here will add it to the bar stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. So that's like free food, basically. Uh, it only rewards a small amount of money and reputation, but you don't have to buy it. So let's go press O to open the tavern. Okay, we have a new quest. First customers, serve six people. So we get these free things. Um, what was that other thing here? <clears throat> Current orders. Okay, that's fine. And then here we have some other stuff here that we can look at. Upgrades, recipe book. Oh, we can make porridge. It's a bucket with water. Okay, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Um, all right, so here we are. That's our stuff. And we are... <clears throat> we have a thing. <laughs> we just need to wait for patrons to come in. There we have somebody. And also... Um, so he wants the gruel. We'll just give it to him with E. Uh, also, you can see that the tavern is decorated with some Christmas decorations. It looks very nice. The devs uh, did a nice update recently to, um, to include... Uh, Christmassy stuff and there's snow outside and stuff and they said that even though the um, the snow is part of the Christmas celebration stuff um, they're gonna keep it when the the, the time um, when where we're gonna have seasons soon so uh, those things will kind of get uh, worked with the seasons all right more customers hooray okay we got the thing so close up the tavern so you can place your new items. Well, kind of want to make more money. Oh, there's nowhere to sit anyway. Okay, I might as well just close the tavern. Okay, pressing O again will force your tavern to close, but you'll lose reputation. Instead, wait for them to leave. That That's kind of, you know, standard. Seems like a nice thing. That's really cool. All right, we're just going to wait for them to leave. <laughs> um, a table has become dirty. All right, let's go and clean the table. So at first you'll get these like spots on the table. And then if it gets really dirty, it'll go green. And I'm like, wow, that's dirty. That's like mold and crap growing on it. It's terrible. Uh, okay, let's go B for decoration mode again. And let's put this in here. Let's give another space and we'll put in, actually, you know what? I'm gonna move, go away thing, stop it, stop. Here, one, two, and then we'll have a couple more on this side, maybe another table here. Now let's put another candle because people like candles, it's comfort too. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna press B again and, um, and that's it. Okay, cool. Let's go outside. Outside we can order stuff. 
Okay, outside the tavern, you'll find a post box to order supplies, notice card to accept orders, hire staff and check the calendar, a well to collect water, natural resources that'll allow you to craft new items and harvest fruits and vegetables. Yes, indeed. You can put up like crafting stations out in the wild here uh, and increase your stuff that you can do. So here's the hiring thing. A lot of this stuff we're not unlocking right now. This is your calendar where important events are noted. Select a date marked with a red dot to view its events. All right. Do we have any? Okay. I love that they tell you a thing and there's like no red dots anywhere. And I can't, I can't even click this. That's very strange. Orders. Okay. Level four. All right. So there's the well, but we do need a bucket to get to the well. Can we order anything? Now, right now we have very little money. Very, very little money. Um, Let's see, bucket. Um, they do have a bucket, but it costs 10 silver. So we can't get that yet. Um, all right, go cancel. And all right, let's go back in the tavern. I'm going to open the tavern back up because like we need to earn more money. Uh, because we can't even buy a bucket. And the other stuff, we're going to get uh, quests to do the um, quest to get to chop trees and stuff like that. That's going to come. Oh my gosh, she's wearing a skirt. I should have waited till I ha I should have looked for a skirt. Oh no, the customer has dirtied the floor. Oh dear. All right, let me just serve people because they are just in a mood here. All right, let's go and fix this dirtied floor. Uh, wait, do I need to take the this? Oh, there we go. You can press F or just the mouse button when you're um over highlighted the broom. Okay, let's go. I feel like they're going to dirty the table soon. I should have gotten a skirt. I feel so bad that I don't have a skirt. I hope we get to change clothes soon. That would be nice. Okay. And nobody's coming and sitting at this table. No, why don't they know I have another table? You can also press V to dial to um, target tavern vision. Highlights important objects such as dirty tables, food, dirt, and important customers. So V is not doing much for us. Oh, what does V do now? Oh, okay. Yep. Let's clean that. Okay. Excellent. I, don't, I guess we can keep V on all the time. Why not? Maybe that's what I was seeing with the green. This must be what angels drink. You think angels are going to go for gruel? Maybe. All right. We got now some porridge and we got grog. Fantastic. And two XP. You can now serve porridge and grog. You need to press E near the book and add the porridge to your inventory. Okay, so this goes in here. Uh, let me just move it. Clicking just does one. All right, now press Q near the beer tap and the keg of grog, grog in the slot. Okay, so here, let's just go here. This is closest to where the customers are going to come in. So we click that. We can only do one. <clears throat> so he wants gruel or porridge. So this is very easy to access. We can pull a beer whenever people want to um, come in and get it. But, okay, so they want beer. Okay, let's get the beer. Puts it in our inventory and we just press E. <clears throat> so it's very convenient to serve customers this way. It's not difficult at all. <clears throat> so tidy it is. <laughs> okay. You're, you're very impressed with my very shoddy wooden tables and stuff. Maybe it's a great tables. Maybe, they, maybe they're made by master woodsmen or master carpenters or whatever. Okay, let's go and fix this. See, if I were the owner of a bar, I would have like a, a hole here so I could get out and <clears throat> walk faster around the bar. But you can, I think, I've read in the game, you can hire employees at some point as well. So that's going to be cool. Okay, time is going. We are earning money. Hooray! Oh, wants a beer. We can go back here as well. Oh, everybody's wanting stuff here. There we go. Oh, we got an axe. Hooray! You have obtained a copper axe. Close your tavern and go outside. All right. We can actually go outside. We do have actually enough money to buy a bucket. 
But I'll show you what we have here. We have a seller, unlocked at reputation 10. We have a this, progress the main quest line to do the crafting room. We have a, a chest here, which is more space. We have a bed that, yeah, sleep to save the game. If you stay up too late, you'll pass out. Okay. And we do have an upstairs as well. We have a fireplace. That's probably cozy or comfort or something. So this is our upper area, which I'm thinking we can build rooms up there. I haven't actually gotten to that point in the game yet with the practice. But I just wanted to like play it and for you so you can see what it's like and kind of learn along the way. It's going to be fun. <clears throat> so I want to buy a bucket. Actually, I don't think we can craft it yet because we don't have an oven. So let's go to our axe and we're going to chop down some trees. One of the things that is like weird. Okay, it looks like cut down trees is on there. But I wish it would like pop up on the side here. It does when you actually do a thing. Like, it'll say, ah, you cut down one tree. There we are, one of five. And that's the only way I knew to um, to cut down that many when I was practicing. It's kind of weird. So every time we're getting, we get logs and other wood scrap here, forestry waste. Very nice. And sometimes we get seeds. You saw an acacia sprout there. I'm going to change this area into my lumber lumber area, I think. So it's close to the entrance there. They have an interesting way of like uh, defining areas. Okay, we got a scythe, which is for cutting the grass, and a sawmill, which is great. You've obtained your first work area, the sawmill. Build it outside the tavern using the decoration mode. Select the copper sickle and press F to clear the weeds. Or you can just click. Remember that you won't be able to use it if decoration mode is enabled. All right, yeah, this is apparently a problem that people complained about. After building the sawmill, exit and get close to it and press the uh, crafting menu. I'm going to keep on chopping these couple of trees here. But also, when I go walk through the grass, watch the animations. It is absolutely beautiful. Come on. There we go. So watch me walk through the grass. Like the little snow gets tufted up. Oh, it's so cool. I love that so much. That is a beautiful, beautiful um, thing. Okay, so the sawmill, if we go into B, decoration mode, it's this big, okay? I think I can sneak it in like here. I just need to cut some of this grass. So I don't wanna chop this baby tree. Actually, I could chop the baby tree. Why are we keeping the baby tree? Is it because it's a baby? Because we want it to grow up big and stout? Is it like killing the enemies if I chop this? Oh, wow. Um, let's see. I can't chop it, actually. I cannot chop it. <laughs> I can't chop it. Okay, let's go into decoration mode and pick out this thing. Okay, I need more space. That's a bit annoying. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I thought I had enough. B. Just clear all of it. Going to B again and place this thing. Really? Okay, fine. B. So picky, this stuff, man. All right, let's go into B again. Okay, we can put it. This is kind of close to the tavern. That's nice. Press B again, and then we're going to open this up. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required Indians fuel <clears throat> and time. Uh, some of the smelters and stuff require fuel, and it was like, okay, this is weird. Um, let's build a bunch of these. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer is full, move closer and press E. Yep. You can automatically, you don't have to get into the interface to collect stuff. So that's nice. Okay, so we got the sickle, and we now need to, what are we doing with this? Fabricate planks. Okay, we're going to get this for that. That's fine. So that's going to work. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we can chop more trees. Um, let's see. You can either press F or just the mouse button. I think I need to, let's see, if we go into the inventory here, I want to get my uh, seeds. I haven't actually planted seeds yet, but I kind of think I should. Let's see, can I plant? Oh, I can plant them. Nice. This is very easy, very convenient and easy. You can also buy seeds from the store, by the way. Oh, whoops, I have more. 
I have more. Okay, there's one more. Okay, because we definitely want to continue having trees. Trees are nice. They're going to be useful for stuff, I'm sure. Oh, that's cool. This one has a hole in it. That's neat. I like that they're varied like this. I wish they would have varied the upper branches a little bit more because we have a hole, but we don't have the upper branches at all varied here. Okay, let's go back to our inventory. I wish they would have an eye for inventory. That would be nice. Okay, let's see. I oh, it is I. Okay, never mind. I guess I forgot to uh, to click it one time. All right, so we have trees planted. We have more forestry stuff. I like that it doesn't clutter your regular bar as well. That's very nice. Okay, we got our stuff. We fabricated planks and we got our copper pick. Hooray! Okay, you can use the pick to mine seams. This is an interesting thing, right? Because <clears throat> this thing, the rocks don't disappear. They just kind of like run out of stuff for the day, run out of charge. There we go. Oh, well, that one disappeared, but a lot of them don't. Most of them don't, especially the ones with an ore seam in them. But they kind of let you know that they're, okay, we're, we're done for today. Um, different rocks have different stuff. There are some that, like that one is ore metals so it's our quest is to mine metals um and some of them have coal some of them are just stone so this is a one with a seam like a metal rock you can see there we get copper okay now we get more stuff which is nice smelter and the anvil okay thank you very much we're not done yet i'm talking here game hmm and these are metal ore look um, this one might be coal actually i'm not sure let's see what it is i think it's ore though no, it's coal. This is a coal rock. Okay, nice. Okay, this one might be metal. I don't know. We'll see. Nope, that one's coal too. Convenient. Very convenient. Maybe I should move my, uh, my wood and metal set up to this side thinking that might be a good idea well let's do that let's move them all, all to this side instead because there's no well actually there's this thing which might be in the way slightly but it should be fine it should be fine we just clear all this stuff out of here maybe the other side is better actually because this rock is going to be in the way. So we'd have to put stuff above that. Let's see if I can... Let's inventory. Let's get that seed planted. Let's plant it up here. Seems like a good spot. There you go, little tree. Soon you will be materials, but not today. All right, let's go out here and place this, um, this thing. Okay, here we go. Let's just put it up here. I think that's a good spot. Wait, what? Oh, there's a rock there. Of course, you can't place it on the rock. Oh, dear. Ah! Okay. All right. It's fine. I want to move the rocks around. Help. I planted a tiny tree there as well, which is not ideal. Okay. This one has to be above. So let's just clear a few more weeds here and we can... Or not weeds, but uh, grasses. Oh, whoops. Beat. I feel like this is probably the bane of most people's existence because the B mode isn't very visible. I think they tried to make it visible by having a border around the screen, but I think those things, they kind of disappear from view generally, like mentally, they're just not, you know, in view. Can I move this down here? No, I could put it there though. I think that's good. Okay, and then we get an anvil. Let's move that here. So the anvil and the thing you have to um, power, right? I guess I could move this one here. Or, no, we can't We can't rotate it. All right, let's go into B mode. So this has to be fueled too. So this is the anvil where you make finished stuff. But this is the thing where you make bars. So we need to fuel it first or else it won't let you try. So we have firewood or forestry waste. I'm going to use coal because I can think of no better use for coal. Um, okay, so then we're going to open it with E and make some bars. Okay, apparently we don't have very many bars. Not enough ingredients. We don't have the iron ore for this. 
So that's going to go in and fix itself. Let's go and find some more rocks to, to murder here. And we should be able to get a little bit more iron. Hopefully enough so that we can make some of those candle holders because those are decorations that we can use in our tavern. And um, it makes the customers happier. Nice. More ore. Excellent. Those poor patrons of mine. Why are you out there doing stuff? We want you to make us food. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry, tavern patrons. We apologize for the inconvenience. This might be a good area to plant trees. I just keep the upper area. Or maybe this is a better area for the workshops. I should check that, actually. Because if we just have to go across the street and it's more convenient, that might be a better space to put stuff in. Let's just see what that looks like. All right. And there's more stuff on the left. Oh my, this is great. Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to move all the workshops over here. This looks pretty darn good. So I don't have to walk so much that part of, you know, the game is the meta game, of course, which is basically, um, let's see. We can move the whole thing. Ha <laughs> ha. This is great. Okay. Okay. Put that there. Boom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's move it here. It's nearer to the door. And here I'm going to cut some grass because we'll put the wood thing over here. Oh, I got Reaper achievement just now. That's funny. Okay, may have to move that anvil over again. We'll see. <clears throat> let's actually let's go and get the wood thing. Uh, B, <clears throat> move this right next to the thing. We'll move it next to the rock. Oh, the rock is fine in here. Actually, let's move it here so we have more room for machines. This one can move closer as well. Now we did get a chopping block, stump with an axe. So that's a thing that we can actually we can move them one apart just in case we need walking clearance which we definitely do okay b and cool this is great i wonder if i lost the fuel no i didn't oh this is fantastic okay so let's see what else we can make uh mostly we're gonna need iron bars uh this thing also needs fuel hence my waiting to let's see forestry waste that seems okay as well okay can i make anything i want to make two candle holders all right, let's make, have it make one for now. Now this thing, this makes firewood um, for our, no, no doubt for either for fuel or for other stuff, it looks like. Let's see, can we make another one of these? Yes, please, thank you. All right, and you can make more stuff. Now we can make wooden poles, firewood stockpile. That seems cool, plank stockpile. Those are fun, but we need more planks to make those. Uh, all right, let's just make those. See what we got. Okay, that's working. They're all working. This is kind of great. I'll go and chop some more trees while we're at it. We need to look at how much tree seeds cost because we're definitely not getting as many seeds as we're using or as we're chopping here. I don't know how long it takes trees to grow as well. I guess we can test. We can just look and see. We do have some tiny trees around and we've of course have planted some too. So I wish the tree seeds would go into inventory. I'm not really sure why they go into the hidden inventory, um, but that's a bit not ideal for sure. Let's chop this one. We'll put the tree seeds at the bottom just to make sure that they have a chance to Oh, no, again. I was going to do it. Okay, last call. Apparently it expected me to do stuff <laughs> other than, than, than futz around in the, in the wilderness. Okay. All right, we got our two candle holders. We got some more stuff coming in there and more stuff coming in there. Excellent. Let's see, how much are tree seeds? Acacia sprouts are 15 silver each. Wow, that's expensive. Feels expensive when you're only serving gruel. But if we go into decoration mode here, 
Actually, let's go into in inventory and put these. We have, oh, we only have one candle holder? Oh, crap. I forgot to make the second one. Anyway, let's put this on the floor and put in, oh, whoops, I candle holder. And we can put this. We need to put it on the table. I tried to, okay, that didn't work well. All right. There's a way to do this. I know there is. Let's see. Let's put it on, okay, no. Huh. Okay. There we go. No. Why did that not work? This does work. I have done it before. There it goes. Okay. That worked. That was weird. Maybe it didn't like it because I was uh, click dragging instead. I don't know. Okay. We've got the thing. Let's go to bed. Uh, whoops. A B E. Yeah, of course. It's a bit late. I wonder if I'll get penalized. I don't know what time is the... Maybe it's... No, that keeps moving. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Yes. Except. And I am not going to make the bed. It's actually unhealthy to make the bed because, like, when you sleep, you generate lots of sweat and stuff like this. Um, so if you make the bed, you basically keep it damp all day. So I want that bed to dry out and the microbes to die off. Before opening your tavern, consider stocking up for the day. You'll need more logs for crafting and the fireplace. Visit the post box outside to order more supplies. Yeah. The thing is, most of this stuff like that you can order, there's like food stuff. Oh, every five days, five random ingredients will be available to order marked with a star. Some ingredients can be farmed after unlocking them. Um, so we get cherries, but like... We can't do anything with any of this stuff because we have absolutely no anything. Actually, I could buy some tea maybe. Let's buy a bucket. And the tea looks interesting. I don't know how to... Let's see how much is that? That's 17. All right, let's buy this stuff. Okay, so that's it's going to come in three hours in that box over there. All right, let's make a another candle holder. Oh, no, wait, we already made one. Hold on. Wait, did I get one or not? I'm so confused by this. No? Yes? No? Well, I'm sure we'll need more than one. Okay, there we go. Let's just make that. And then we can smelt some more iron bars and copper bars here. So that's happening. Okay, this could make a firewood stockpile. Do we need this? I'm not sure, actually. We could. Let's just make one. And then we'll make some more planks. And we actually have a bit of firewood. Yeah, we have... Oh, we only have five. Okay, that's not ideal. Let's make some more. Okay, very good. This is working pretty darn well. I guess we can put the stockpile, I'm thinking, like, inside the, the tavern... Okay, it's taking a while to make this thing. Jeez. Okay, we got our candle thing. You know what? I'm going to let this stuff happen overnight and or over during the day, and we'll just open our tavern. Okay, so let's uh, put the candle holder out first. Let's get that. Okay. Okay. Oops, I should click and then put it there. Okay, don't click drag. You got to click and move. Okay, B, O. Opened the tavern. Hooray! Gives you this very weird mode. Like, I can't move the camera right now. You see, it's just still. Oh, so tidy it is. Oh, you want a beer? Sure, no problem. Get that for you. Okay, we got our old doormat. Item dirty and worn. Wow, what a reward. Giving us old crap. <laughs> I guess it does give them a little bit of comfort, which is nice. We can look at that. It is comfort five. Okay. I, we can actually put this down, I believe. Wait, where did it go? Oh, no. Okay, dude. There, we'll put the doormat by the door. Uh, certain things, by the way, like tables and stuff, you can't move while the tavern is open, but small things you can place. So that's quite nice. Still two people are not coming and sitting by this table, and I don't know why. 
Okay. We're getting rep, which is great. I wonder if we can see that somewhere. There we go. All right. Satisfaction almost to the end here. Prices are happy, but I haven't found any way to, to change prices yet. I guess they'll tell us. Let's tidy the table. <clears throat> Clean the table. Sorry. Okay, we have an order up here. It shows you what's kind of coming in the queue, by the way. Ooh, a customer is being rowdy. You can try to calm them down with E. And I happen to know what happens after this. Uh-huh. I'll pipe down. Sure. Oh, whoops. Okay. All right, there you go. They don't seem to be as annoyed as, like, certain, certain other games that we have. Okay. Ah, she's wearing antler thingies. That's funny. I wonder how long that's been a thing. Probably forever, maybe. Like people wearing antlers on their head or stuff like that. Oh man, somebody spilled their drink. That's inconvenient. Uh, yep. For whatever reason, this is F and not E. Why is that not E? That's one thing that I don't understand in this game sometimes. Like the... The choices of key bindings are very strange. Like everything is interact with E, but if you want to clean something or chop a tree, it's F. Why? Why game? Why you do this to us to confuse us? See E to clean, but F to clean the floor. To me, it seems like there it doesn't need two different key bindings. It just needs one. I think the only thing that you have two different things is the fueling and the crafting. But honestly, I would put them both in the same interface. I would, I would have the crafting interface because that was actually very confusing to me when I was first practicing this game. I'm like, okay, these, the, you know, the bars are grayed out what's going on here. And eventually there was like a little pop-up about fuel, but it was not intuitive. It's like, why aren't we putting the fuel like in the same interface? It just didn't make sense to me. So I hope that's a thing that the devs are going to look at because that's like, oh God, please, please fix this. Oh, that's not the reputation. Okay. Do we have a reputation? This is a recipe book. Okay. Ooh, beer. This one is mild wort ale yeast empty keg in a fermentation tank. Urgh. Okay. We can craft all this stuff. Oh, we can craft these things. Nice. We need iron nails and wooden poles for tables. Oh, nice. Okay. Would like to get some... Like, tables made. 20 planks, 15 nails, 10 poles. All right. We have that for later, though. Oh, we can make a blacksmith table, too. That is probably high on our list of things we need. Brewing barrels, coal stockpiles... I don't know if we need any of those things, to be honest, unless they are, they give us some benefits. Crushes and shreds. Okay, so we need a stone workshop. Okay, so we need to... Can we favorite this? Oh, that's favorited. Good. Excellent. That, oh, that's very handy. Okay, so we're going to... I'm going to mark some of these things that I would like to make. Works as a nest for birds. Imagine that. I wonder if there's some, like... Okay, not very big. Individual table one, small bench two. Oh, we're just we're just marking them. Of course we are. Yes. Um, empty keg. I guess we need a couple of these. Um, okay, so I think that's it. I think that's all we need right now. We mark those as favorites so I can reference them later and build the appropriate amount of like nails and other stuff. Okay. Good. 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 Now we're making some actual money, which is very nice. She was a fine, fine girl, me pig Stella was. Aw. Oh, whoops. All right, reputation milestone. All right, brewing and cooking tech trees. Press T to open. Excellent. 
Okay, each text costs skill points, which can be earned from crafting. Okay. Skill points are split into physical, nature, and mental. All right. So what can we actually craft here? Lager, pale ale, porter, and mead. Cooking. We can make tea. That would be nice to have a cup of tea. Uh, soup also would be nice to get. Can we get tea? Can we get anything? Okay. Oh, there's the numbers. Okay, so zero red points, two blue points, and one green. We have... Oh, boy. We have completely wrong things for this. <laughs> we have completely wrong things. Uh, all right, I guess we can't do anything yet. So we'll have to have to earn some skill points there. I wonder if there's a, there must be a place where we can see our, our reputation, you would think. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we need to make nails. That's a new one I didn't see pop up. Using the smelter and the anvil. Okay. I'll let people kind of do stuff for a bit here. We need money as well, so... Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, we're at 26 silver, which is not too bad. Not too bad. But I'm gonna... I'm, I think I'll close the tavern, actually. I'm gonna close the tavern... I'm going to just go outside. Okay. So I'll make some nails now. I think they can leave on their own. Got some firewood. Got planks there. Open. Okay, so we need nails. I think we needed 10 or something nails. All right, for these we need iron bars. Not enough fuel. Okay. So let's go and get some fuel. I wonder if these these look like they replenish daily, maybe? Okay, these are iron, or these are copper, I think. Are they copper? Yeah, they are copper. Yes, red for copper, blue for <laughs> iron ore. I don't know how they ever chose those colors. It's completely opposite of normal stuff. Because, like, copper goes has, like, a bluish tint when it oxidizes. And iron is red. So it's like, how did the first person to do stuff ever choose those colors? I don't get it. I guess shiny copper is more reddish and shiny iron is kind of bluish. Maybe that's what it is. But like in its natural state, it is a completely different color. <clears throat> I thought this was the coal rock. Coal rock is up, I think. Let's go and get it. This Is this a coal rock? This looks like a stone rock. This is a stone rock. Okay, I don't want to. I don't care about stone right now. It's funny the way the stone like follows me around. It's hilarious. I really don't want to waste the wood on stuff. Looks like trees. This this tree over here, at least the little one over there, didn't grow at all. So that is something we need to probably conserve a little bit, or maybe like try to plant many or something. Let's grab a little bit more wood here. Basically plant seeds as soon as possible. Ah, that's nice. We got one seed per tree there. I'll go and uh, put those on. Oh, whoops. That's weird. They didn't stack. Are they too... Oh, chestnut sprout. Okay, nice. Do I need to be in B mode? Hello? Why is I not allowed to... Okay, strange. It was very strange. Okay, I don't even know what happened there. Okay, we're good now. We can now go and proceed. Oh, this must be our reputation down here. Ah, there it is. Okay, 2,000 reputation to get to the next thing. That's, that's a lot. Okay, fuel this with some coal. Let's give it that. Okay, let's make 10 nails. 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's do that. And then we needed some wooden poles. Let's make, I think we needed 10 of those maybe. For, let's look at our, our ingredients, recipes again. So this thing needs, ooh, okay, 20 poles. Uh, let's make 20 poles and 5 sheets. Okay, 
Another poles and then five sheets. All right. So hinges. I want sheets, please. No fuel. Okay. Iron sheets. How many did it need? Five? Hold on. Let me check this again. <clears throat> yeah, five iron sheets. Wow. Two, three, four. Oh, okay. We need more iron bars. Oh, it's uh, fuel. It's a fuel issue. I wish you could like. Can you? No, shift clicking, right clicking does not work here. So, just trying to get this. We need some more iron bars. Okay, good. Okay, we're getting... We should get more poles as well. And then maybe some more planks. These planks are made out of planks. Uh, poles are made from planks. Okay, that's good to know. Very good to know. So what did we get with the pile? We got It's this firewood stockpile. So I think I'm going to put those in... Put it in the tavern. Um, let's see, by, maybe by here? It doesn't go in here? Why would it not go in here? Okay, weird. Alright, let's put it out here then, maybe? Yep, it only goes here. Weird. Alright, I guess maybe, maybe it, does it pick it up automatically? Let's try this. Let's try making some planks there and see what happens. What's going on? Okay, so we got some stuff. We got a workbench. Okay, awesome. So, that's great. Thank you. Accept. Good, good. Let's try to B and put that here. We can put it in either section. We cannot put it outside, however. So I'll put it right there for now. And then see what we got over here. Okay, we have... Um, wooden jug. Oh, we can make these things here. That's quite nice. Alright, great. Uh, individual table, windows, aging shelf. You can cure some products. Yeah, we gotta make some more nails for sure. Okay, so this thing. Okay, that doesn't do anything. What What is this firewood stockpile for? It doesn't seem to do anything. Like, I can't even open it. Is it just decoration? Jeez, that's not good. Wait, what, can I make a what? Small bench. Let's make one small bench. We need to make some more nails, though. Definitely. Oh, we have no more anythings. Ay, that's not good. Okay, we need to make more iron bars. Okay, not enough fuel. So F. I guess we put firewood in. Okay, more iron bars. Also, how many thingies we have we have three sheets okay so we need to get two more sheets wait the thing that we were making wasn't it that was it that thing oh my god no it's a blacksmith table that we need all right so we need two more thingies there's one come on go 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 okay Oh, pardon me. I was sneezing. All right, it's fine. Okay, there we go. That's the last of those things. So planks. Wait, wait. How do you make the firewood? Is it out of planks? No, it's out of wood. I wonder if you can make... I guess you can't make it out of wood. So two wood becomes 13 firewood? Interesting. Okay. All right, and then... Let's make a couple more wooden poles, but we need more of these as well. I can make some more of this. Not enough ingredients. Okay. We need more wood. We are greedy people. We want everything. I guess it might be important to go around and make sure you have, like, all of the, um, get all the iron you can every day. I don't know how much copper we're going to need. So far, we don't have a single recipe that uses copper. So that may be kind of a moot point. I guess we can collect the ore maybe and then kind of stone. Also, I don't know what we're going to use the stone for, but maybe it's good to collect a little bit of it at least. Okay, let's do this.
I think trees are probably less important to harvest because they're going to be there, but the rocks renew every day. So that's a thing that you would want to collect every day for sure. All right. Do I have any seeds? I have one. Oh, there we go. We have another one. Good, good. Okay. Very good. Very good. I'm going to switch these positions as well. Okay, we got some stuff and things. Oh, those are the XP things that we're getting. Nice. Okay, so we got a small bench one, I think, and then we need to get a bigger table, which is needs 15 iron nails. Let's go and see what that looks like. Okay, we need this, but we need iron ore. Okay. Um, let's get a couple of these. All right. Candelabras look cool, but I'm afraid that they're going to be a little bit difficult right now. All right, let's get the mining going on. These are stone, I think. This is probably iron. I think this is the iron one. We definitely need more iron. Lots of stuff made out of iron in this game. That looks like copper, I think. That's okay. Collecting some copper might be good. You might need it for, like, some kind of a brewing cistern thing, maybe. That was the uh, coal. This is stone. Those are reindeer, people. Reindeer. La reine. No, la reine. <laughs> I think it's en reine, or is it et reine? I forget. Dear me. This is such a big one, I couldn't pass it up. I think it's N or N. N and it. Much more difficult than English. Oh my god, is this another coal rock? <gasps> I want it. Looks like a coal rock. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, so we definitely gotta farm these coal rocks every day. All of them. Because the fuel situation is not great. Also, I wish that you could put the waste wood. It doesn't seem like that has any any other use other than fuel. But why why can't we like shift click it in? Like that would make sense to me. Okay, um, let's make these. We need ingredients. Wow. Okay, we don't have any more. That's all we got. Sorry. Sorry, life. You can't have that small table. Let's take it. I guess we'll make another small bench. Uh, but weirdly enough. Like we can't, we haven't gotten to people actually sitting at the table that we already have, which is very strange to me. Also, I want to look at the price of candles. I don't know how much they cost. Let's see, candle. So candelabras are 15. I don't know if we can actually sell them. Regular candles are four. Shining candle holder. Oh my God. Now 20% more luxurious. Well then. This one is five. This is two. That's nice. Okay. We can get some seeds and stuff, but I don't know how to. We could try. We could try to just buy them. Barley seeds. Sure. Um, how about, let's see. They probably are brewing. Oh, farming. Here we go. Uh, the tree seeds are much more expensive. Corn. Let's buy some corn. I don't know what any of this stuff is for, but presumably we can just keep it and it's not going to like go bad or anything. They're very cheap. So might as well. So we'll just buy these. Did we ever get the bucket? No, not yet. There's the bucket and the tea. Wish you could like sort of shift click it. Uh, maybe right click will do it. I don't know. Okay, let's get stuff. Collect water. Maybe I need that on my hot bar, I guess. There we go. Cat is here. K-E. Oh, that, okay. It was very fast. I see. I gotcha now. I gotcha thing. I gotcha. Is this done yet? No. Oh my God. That's so slow. All right. It's fine. Let's go inside and place what we got. Cat, this is not a good time. You need to go that way, please. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um, let's look at our inventory. Here we have a small bench. Let's go in B mode. Ah, okay, so it's like, it is exactly the wrong size for everything. That's what that is. I hope it matches the small table. Oh my god. That's kind of terrible. 
Kind of bad. Let's see what the table is going to look like. Come on, thing. Actually, you know what? I can open the tavern for a bit. Earn some money here. Okay, the tavern is cold. Use this fireplace to keep your tavern the correct temperature. Well, that sounds like a good idea, actually. Open, which is what? Q? What is this? Why do we have so many weird, weird keys? Why is that Q? What is this? Why isn't it F at the very least? Come on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. I like that they show up at the top. It enabled me to like, you know, look at them without um, actually talking to people. Now you're going to say, cat is trying to avoid them. No, not exactly. Not exactly. Okay, this guy is becoming rowdy. Looks like it. Let's talk to him. Dude, pipe down. Come on. All right. It's good to earn money. Not just not just improve everything. Okay, this is our firewood. We have 33 firewood. That's good. Cleanliness. Ah, so it gives us... I don't know why it would give us a warning all the way in the bottom right. A lot of, like, like here we have notifications. So it's like, why are you giving us this at the very weird place? I don't really get that. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, right click. We'll, we'll put them all in your inventory. Yeah, they're, they're doing okay. Let's see. I'm going to try to plant some stuff. Let's see. Can I, can I plant them? I might need like a hoe or something like that, which I don't have. Like, you know, to like prepared farmland kind of thing. Tried in build mode and in regular, but I, yeah. One and two. I'm gonna run out of this good beer. I hope they teach me how to make beer before I run out. <laughs> Jeez. Porridge, beer. Keg is empty, so we can put in the next keg here. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, maybe I have to take that keg out. Yeah, there are way too many keys. It doesn't even make sense. Like, why do we have E and Q instead of F? This should be F there. Oh, we have no more porridge left, so that's not good. Oh my god, the whole place is really messy. All right, unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. So we're going to close the tavern early, and then we're just going to save the game. And um, unfortunately, we don't have any more time. It's, uh, yeah, we're way, way kind of into this episode, but it does look fun. Um, it's kind of like Graveyard Keeper, except without the uh, the zombies and stuff. <laughs> so um, I'm having so far a lot of fun with this game. It seems cool. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.